So I think um, with regard to alternative varieties, there has been um, a really fascinating evolution in, in Australia um, in the last probably 15 years since I arrived in, in McGreaver. And um, McGreaver is, is a fairly traditional um, wine region for Australian standard where uh, people tend to focus um, on local heroes such as Chardonnay and, uh, and Super Premium Cabernet Sauvignon. But, there is a lot of potential um, for this region to grow many more varieties uh, that are considered um, alternative. And I think um, something that I've really enjoyed seeing in the past 15 years is uh, more and more winemakers experimenting, not only with planting new varieties, but also with um, uh, playing around with the winemaking side of it and, and applying techniques that are um, a bit more avant-garde to the way they make their wine. Um, our brand has always been um, recognized to have a, a pioneering spirit. Uh, in a time 25, 30 years ago when um, a lot of the local wineries were planting Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc Semillon, um, the founders of McEnrione decided to plant on the ground varieties that were absolutely unknown to the region, such as Marsan Roussan, uh, Grenache, Zinfandel, uh, Malbec and um, and uh, in doing that they also understood how important it is to have a personality and have an input in the way you actually make the wines inside the cellar so we are lucky enough to have a wide range of vessels to play with and techniques that I've uh, uh, learned and seen around the world and we apply to our wines in order to have a degree of interest and still be able to deliver a sense of place that is ultimately the most important thing. Um, this one is, in my view, a typical example of the pioneering spirit uh, the founders had when they established this vineyard. It's a blend of Marsan and Roussan. Both varieties are um, coming from the southern part of France, uh, an area called the Rhone Valley. And they tend to produce wines that are quite textural and, and quite rich and almost oily um, over there. So quite powerful wines and our take on that is a little bit different. They certainly deliver these two varieties, the very typical floral uh, bath salts, aromatics of Marsan and Roussan, but texturally uh, the wine is a bit more savory. There's a lot of salinity to it and a very, very good acid line, which is uh, for me a benchmark character of uh, all of my river white wines. Uh, so although it is extremely varietal and, and punchy and floral and vibrant, there is a, a good degree of interest and savoriness to it, which I think makes the wine super interesting and super food friendly. And the winemaking um, uh, approach with this wine, it's a combination of tradition and innovation. Uh, we tend to use uh, um, uh, large format uh, barriques like puncheons, a combination of that, but also we use um, a fair bit of concrete uh, fermentation and maturation for this wine, which uh, adds a degree of texture and complexity uh, but retains freshness uh, within the wine which is the ultimate goal for us when we make this wine. Another fantastic variety that we are lucky enough to play with in Mug River and there's only a handful of us um, working with this variety is Grenache. Grenache is probably one of the oldest grape varieties planted in Australia, but the majority of it is planted in South Australia, uh, particularly in the McLarenville area, but also in the Barossa Valley. And over here in Western Australia, there is uh, a little bit of Grenache planted in the Great and Southern and, and also in the Swan Valley, and a very, very tiny amount planted in Mug River. And we are lucky enough to have about two hectares of Grenache. And uh, this is also a variety that is incredibly versatile. You can make fantastic rosé out of Grenache uh, with beautiful florals. You can make light-bodied, uh, spicy, uh, very crunchy and uh, early drinking style of Grenache on its own. Or you can make very age-worthy, dense, spicy and rich uh, Grenache, particularly in a combination with Syrah and uh, Mouvedre in a GSM, which is what um, this one is uh, is all about. So 
The percentage of Grenache in our GSM is always quite high. We definitely love uh, to work with this variety and love drinking this variety. And so we tend to uh, integrate a large amount of Grenache uh, in the blend with uh, Syrah and uh, Mouvedre adding different things. Um, some adds a little bit of tannin and spice and the other one uh, adding a little bit of like an earthy um, uh, vibe to, to the old wine but it's it's a one that is all about aromatics and and being quite punchy uh, on the nose and still uh, have the ability to age uh, gracefully over the medium to long term.